So I don't know if it's been a week, a week and a half, maybe it's been two weeks since I did the video on propagating strawberries and literally other than uh, watering them a few times and keeping an eye on them. And uh, this guy got cooked one day in the sun pretty bad and we almost lost it, but uh, bounced back. Um, <clears throat> time to uh, check the runners and see how many plants we can get out of it. I uh, started without you. I've already got 10 strawberry plants from runners um, and they were just all in these like messy holes everywhere where I tucked the runners into the dirt and put them down with little little metal staples. Um, this one is one of ones I cut the runner there because it went to a plant. Actually there's another plant right there. So that runner is still active. I forget where this one came from, maybe from that plant. But wherever that runner went to, I took a strawberry plant from, but the runner then again went and made another strawberry plant. There's a strawberry plant there, which I've just left and cut the runner to. This one and this one. Actually, this one might not be a strawberry, but it doesn't look like a weed, so I'm kind of curious. I'm leaving that one there. But there's another strawberry. This runner here has a plant down at the bottom of it. Right down there. And those will just keep pushing leaves up. That's a new plant. So I basically, uh, there's, I haven't found them all, but just by counting the runners that, that are still attached to the ground, um, there's at least 10 more plants in here, uh, new plants. And we've got 10 new plants transplanted into pots. And these were the two that I put into paper cups. It's gonna to be tough to do one-handed, but uh, cut that runner, cut that runner. And what's kind of cool is some of these, they're in the pots. This is the runner that I cut that was leading to the plant from the, the mother or the main plant, but it also has, already has new runners running off of it, which this, if I put that into dirt, that will become another plant. So what I want to do with these guys is uh, watch them real close for a week or so and make sure that their roots establish good. Um, but then I want to put them into larger pots and put them on some of the taller tree stumps that are in the yard to let the runners um, you know, naturally hang down. So then I can maybe put a shelf below them and just keep propagating strawberries off of strawberry plants. And... Um, Let's get back to this thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one-handed. There's the little metal staple. I've got these transplants over there for them to go into. This is the wrong way to do it, but I got one hand. So this guy's just got very tiny little roots because that cup was really dry. But that one might not make it. But as soon as this video ends, I'll add some more soil to that. And this one I've also cut the runner off of. This guy looks like it's a better established root system. And this one's actually um, moist, but the other one's fairly dry. Yeah, so that's got nice roots coming right out of the bottom, or at least one. So I'm going to put those in pot so uh, more potting soil and then get them watered fill in all these holes where I dug stuff up um, and put some fresh hay over it or straw over it rather and uh, clean this up and we are starting to get flowers and um, which means we'll start seeing little little berries on these soon and uh, I'll do an update once these are getting transplanted I'm pretty sure one of these on the end isn't gonna make it because it barely had any roots and I'm pretty sure that little one's not going to make it. But we've got 12 of them pulled out of here. We'll see how many of them actually take and get this cleaned up. And uh, I'll catch you later.